and welcome to Eco How, the part of the show where we demonstrate how to do various projects and activities from the world of conservation. Today we'll be building a bird box and giving you advice on where to site it and hopefully giving you the best chance of seeing it occupied. Our box will be suitable for small birds like blue tits, but instructions for building other types of boxes can be found on our website. To make your nest box, you'll need the following materials. Firstly, wood. It can be old or new, but if you can recycle old materials, that's especially environmentally friendly. Just make sure it's not treated with any nasty chemicals, such as creosote, which could harm the birds. You'll need nails. And of course, rubber to make a hinge. Any old bicycle inner tubes will do. You'll need tacks to attach the hinge to the bird box. Finally, you'll want eyelets and wire. You'll also need the following equipment. One saw. A hammer. A drill. A set square and pencil. And finally, scissors. Right, we've got everything we need. Now let's make the bird box. We've pre-cut our wood to form the component parts. We won't bore you with the details about measurements now, but we've included them all in an information pack on our website. The front wall needs an entrance hole drilling. The RSPB recommends a diameter of 25mm for blue tits. They suggest the hole should be 125mm from the base of the box to prevent predators reaching in for a tasty snack. Nail the box together. Start with the front wall and nail two sides to it, followed by the base. Nail the backboard to assemble the box. We're almost done. We just need to attach the roof. Using scissors, carefully cut a square of rubber the width of your roof, and attach it to one end using the tacks. Place the roof board in position, and attach the rubber onto the backboard, forming a hinge. Finally, screw some eyelets into each side of the roof and each of the side walls, so you can wrap wire around them to seal the box shut. Well, that's the box assembled, but where to put it? Well, preferably somewhere it won't be disturbed by humans or potential predators. I'm looking at you, Tiddles. Sheltered areas are good, preferably avoiding direct sunlight to prevent chicks from overheating. Also, avoid areas that receive the full brunt of the rain. The RSPB recommends a southeast or northerly facing direction. If you're attaching a box to a tree, it's best to use wire rather than nails. To protect the trunk, use a layer of rubber. That's where your old inner tube once again comes in handy. Attaching the box by wire also allows you to take it down in winter so it can be cleaned at ground level. This avoids any prolonged risky shenanigans on a ladder. When cleaning, remove any detritus and pour boiling water into the box. Leave it to dry before putting it back up. We're obliged to tell you that if you find any eggs in your nest box, you can only remove them between October and January. If you do find them in this time, you must destroy them. It's illegal to hoard eggs. But enough legal mumbo jumbo. You've built your box and installed it. So sit back, fingers crossed, and hope some creatures take up residence. They might not even be birds. That's all for Eco How this week, and if you want to find those instructions on how to make the bird box, go to the website and see the links in the description below. If you fancy having a go, good luck and be safe. Until next time. Mm -hmm.